Hello everybody, welcome back to another video where today we are here with your quick guide on how to be Ko, or otherwise known as Corruptive Worlds. Now, why am I doing this topic? I really have no idea because it's quite boring right now. In Windcraft, not much new content. I'm not very high leveled enough to get any of the new stuff like, you know, the what whatever the new Sonic Spans dungeon is, whatever of that nonsense. So I don't know if you guys uh, do you guys want me to do any other Windcraft topics or because I don't think my bedrock series is helping a lot. It's not helping. So I'm discontinuing that series. It's not helping apparently Okay, now before I get this video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like and why did just click the notification bell to get notified of every video I upload. Now this definitely will be a unfair comparison because, you know, you usually will be level 68 when you do uh, Temple of Legends. And I don't remember anybody doing Temple of Legends at level 77. This might be a little unfair, just a tiny bit, because, you know, Bob's been the dagger. But this is the same weapon I use to, uh, you know, defeat Corrupted World, so it might be a little bit unfair, like a tiny bit more damage since my level is higher. But it's probably still the same, same old damage. Now, quick note that the Ko cave is right here. You will be greeted with two legion guards. Let's go in. Also, you might use up all of your pots. Just saying. I probably won't. Or I probably die. And that would be kind of embarrassing. You know, on a forethought, I probably will die on this because, you know, because I'm a very, very bad player. Oh, would you look at that? Hello! Hi, you're making me dizzy. This uh, low health is really annoying. Oh. Hi. I'm just not going to look at you because, you know. You know, just skip all of these corrupted soldiers and all. Just keep on going into this tiny little place. Now what I suggest is killing all of the mobs because you have to kill all of the mobs before continuing, I believe. Oh, hello! You don't look scary with leather armor, honestly. You don't look scary. What I suggest first is always take out the range mobs, which are the ones in leather armor. Oh yeah, gold armor as well. Die. I... Hmm. Do you have to kill all the mobs? No, you don't, actually. Wow. I've been doing it wrong the whole time. Now, careful note. Coal is not very, very hard. Uh, and I mean, it's very, and it's not very easy. It has ridiculous amounts of speed. It has a very nice spin attack, yes. And yeah, let me just ensue what will happen. Keep in mind I'm level 77 and this is still hard for me, which is saying something. Now, most of you might be surprised on Ko's attack speed. That's his main, um, main damage. It deals like so much damage in one second. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, yes, so Ko is definitely infamous for its uh, attack speed. I think it's one of the highest in the world. I mean, not the world, uh, highest in Windcraft. Definitely very high. I suggest just putting a bunch of smoke bombs and a bunch of spin attack. Oh god, I'm already low health. Anyway, 
Uh, what you want to do as an assassin is definitely put some smoke bombs, vanish if you can, and and then spin attack him because you know he can't do anything when when he's spin attacked. Uh, as mage, I suggest ice snake. As archer, I just maybe just pew pew him down to low health. With if he gets close, just um, arrow storm him. As a shaman, you're gonna have a very very tough time, and I don't play the shaman enough to know to tell you what. He also have a 5k regen, which makes him also one of the most annoying mobs up, on top of his attack speed, which is already annoying enough. He also has a pull spell, and then he'll often do a multi hit behind that. Oh, did I forget mention to one? Oh yeah, uh, yes, the warrior. Um. Well, the warrior is also going to have a tough time because, you know, the warrior does literally no damage. And you're going to have an extremely tough time with that. Oh, goodness. I hate it. It's multi-hit. It's so annoying. What I uh, what I like to call my strategy the hit and run, and it basically works with everything. With uh, basically works with every class. You run away when he gets close, and and then you just maybe if he gets close, you could either do a oh god oh how. I didn't even get near him. I was on Vanish. Oh goodness. This is kind of embarrassing. I don't know how I managed to solo him. In the first, at level 68, I managed to solo him. Now at level 77, I can't solo him. I just use one of my pots. Goodness gracious. Anyway, um, yeah, hit and run does work sometimes. But, you know, it doesn't work as always. Now, I suspect mage, shaman, and warrior are going definitely going to have a tough time, since you mage is only burst damage, so you can put a lot of meteors at first, but then your DPS is going to drop because you don't have enough mana. Warrior just doesn't do any damage at any point, especially at level 60, 70, and... Well, can I say about the shaman? It's a glass can, and that super fast attack speed is definitely going to screw you. That is, if you can keep him in that aura. Now, Archer is probably the most easiest to deal with the infamous Ko. Because, you know, you can just pluck him off at a distance, and when he gets close, you can airstorm him. Probably, if you're Archer main, well, congrats for you, because you're going to have the piece of cake that you always want to... I don't even know what I'm saying. <sighs> Do I even need to mention warrior? Mage... Oh, God. Mage will... Well, let me just tell you, I had to call in the SWAT team to get rid of this thing. Uh, Shaman, I haven't tested it yet. But Assassin is also very easy, since the Assassin has Vanish, which does 80% more damage, which is very, very helpful. And also Vanish makes you invisible. And also it basically just has the best damage of all. Now enough rambling, I hope that's enough advice for you guys, and I'll see you guys in another video, goodbye. Wait, it's not stopping? Well how about that?